Yo, I'm Mike from Ratatat. And I'm Evan, also from Ratatat. <laughs> You're watching Rehearsal Space. That's some showmanship. <laughs> <laughs> I had just moved to New York. Mike had been living here for like a year already. I just like invited him over to, to make a song and we just kind of started doing like really funny kind of Baroque dance songs in my apartment just for fun. Yeah, we made like maybe like five songs and we made the song 17 years, it's on our first record. I think that was probably when we realized it, it could be like a serious band. Yeah, we ended up like started talking to our label XL like pretty soon after that. The A and R guy Matt, he he's just doing his job, I guess, and he he found our web page and there's two songs on our website. Mm -hmm. I was in London, and he just like approached me at this show and it was out of nowhere. And we ended up signing a record deal, and then it was kind of like, all right, we have to, I guess we have to make an album and kind of turn this into a band. We're pretty passionate about not describing our sound. <laughs> yeah, I think if you kind of just list off the various genres that we sort of touch on, it ends up just sounding like a really bad idea. <laughs> but, but I don't think it ends up actually sounding that way on the record, so we just try not to describe it with words. Um, it's not really like a calculated thing. It's just we like hip-hop and we like just tons of different styles of music, so it just happens naturally. Yeah, it's not like we're listening to the radio and being like, oh, Kanye West did that thing with Daft Punk. Maybe if we took some Kanye West style beats and put some house beats over it. And wear some there. polo shirts. We try not to like, <laughs> try not to think in those terms at all when we're recording. We kind of just let whatever come out. We use Logic, but we use it in a pretty simple way. We use it pretty much like we would a, a four track or something. It's just so much easier with editing. Yeah, so quicker. it's like the ability to like splice sounds and sometimes you might do something like just swap one note with another note of a part and I don't know, that kind of thing you can't really, I guess you can do it with tape, but it would be such a pain. <laughs> We don't write anything beforehand. So like as I was saying, the recording process is the, also the writing process at the same time. So there's tons of editing. Like we'll work on a part forever that we think is the beginning of the song that ends up being the end or the middle or something. So there's a lot you can do with in the computer too, just like reversing sounds. We do a lot of stuff where we play guitar parts backwards and then reverse them in the computer so that they, they have like the weird backwards attack. All the notes and things like that. Yeah, it's a pain. <laughs> Lots of times now, just to save time, we'll, we'll record it, reverse it in the computer, and then I'll learn that, record that, and then reverse that. I think, I, I think we get better results if we work more quickly. I don't really like to do anything that requires a lot of like digging in there and programming because you kind of just slows the process down, I think. Yeah, you lose sight of what you were trying to do in the first place. When you're making something from scratch, you don't have like a framework to, to work with already. That's always fun in its own way, but working on the remixes is fun too because it's they tend to come together a little more quickly and all the remixes we've done have been for vocal songs, so 
I think when you're working with vocals, music doesn't have to be quite as intense. You can get away with repeating sections. Bjork's the only one that we actually linked up with. The other ones, it was just kind of bootleg style. We got a hold of the vocal tracks and then just made our own music. Like all the, all the hip-hop stuff that we did, but the two mixtapes are just bootleg style. We've got a bunch of tours coming up and we've got some new music as well that we'll keep working on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't really have it planned out too far in advance, really. It's a we lot don't of touring. Plan anything, I guess. No, I think we only really think about keeping ourselves entertained and then just hope that people can come along for the ride afterwards. Yeah, I mean, that's all we've ever done. It was like a be nice surprise that we got signed because we were just screwing around doing whatever we wanted. So we might as well just keep doing that. People like it. <laughs>